this is full game Prometheus giving you another full game. This is going to be with my Mutt Squad, 85 overall ranked. Um, I'm going to be using the Titans as my offense and defense to get myself prepared for my draft championship series. I'm going to be using uh, single back ace wing, single back uh, pair tight twins, also the gun wide trips halfback weak. Um, uh, also some other formations I'm going to use is going to be the gun tight flex, gun bunch weak, and then the uh, end zone I'll probably be jumping into the gun trips tight end. Uh, on defense, I'll be using the, the 34 under sting pinch blitz and also using the big using the big dime 146 in passing situations against three wide. So let's go ahead and jump into a game and see if we can pull off another victory. All right, so going to go against Earl Thomas, uh, J.I. and Nikovic. Um, that is Blackhawk 31-39-8. Blackhawk 31-39-8. Uh, so uh, he's got Tennessee too. So this is going to be somewhat interesting. We've got the same uniforms. Um... Uh, this is going to be kind of a change of pace. I'm going to be kicking off to the left and um, got to make sure that I get myself a, a pretty good situation here with uh, making sure my reads and I'll get my, my, my opponent's uniforms the same as mine. That was actually a bad decision by him. I don't know why he did that. Uh, he tried to wave it off uh, and then he didn't down it and took it out. So that was not a good thing for him. I think I'm going to have to go with the pressure right away against this guy. There you go. So he runs the ball. It's uh, Runs the ball again. And quick pick six right there. He didn't know what to do with the pressure. <sighs> he wanted the verticals. He had a guy wide open. He missed his read completely. Uh, he should have just popped me up top. So um, I don't know if he didn't he didn't know his reads correctly or not. I don't know how good this guy is. Uh, but that was that was a terrible series for him right there. All right, so put a quick seven points on the board. Uh, not a good situation for him. I'm going to go into the 4-4 split. Bad angle with the run, um, but I think he picked up some positive yards on there. Seven yards off of that. Good run up the middle. That was a very good, good run. A nice little pitch to the outside. I close up the middle. My guy, I clicked off my guy. I should have tackled that guy behind the line of scrimmage. I totally missed the quick toss. I didn't actually spread my guys out. So he's going to stay with this. So, a little uh, catch to the flat right there. And he's staying with the old school's formation. Good run. Wow. Now he's just he's just pounding me with his with his uh, his good players. That's all he's really doing right now. Oh, I almost got an interception right there. He just threw right in the coverage. And 
And if you just flip this play, I try to go ahead and shift my guys over. So fourth and four, he'd be stupid to go for it, but I think he's definitely going to do it. And he caught it. Good read. Good read. I actually was going across those trails, trailing routes across the middle right there. So, good series so far for this guy. He's he's been beating me with the run, um, and he's done a very good job with this uh, with keeping this going. And I had I had my freaking I had a slant route wide open. I had no gap over there. I had blitzers coming in. So I probably should have just jumped into cover two and just let me beat me. That was that was a bad decision, totally totally bad decision. But note to self, he likes to throw slants in the end zone. He did he did um, uh, slants, so I just got to remember that. All right, so he hasn't seen my offense at all. I made him earn uh, that previous drive. I'm going to go into ace wing, uh, come out of the mo half uh, motion toss. Let's see what kind of offense or defense this guy goes into he's got his guys spread out and then he's pressing and he had nice he had a nice shed right there so zero blitz I'm gonna hit him with a shovel option and he's in And I just couldn't get rid of the ball. He actually hit me with a corner blitz. Actually, no, under smoke. All right, so we're going to have to hit this guy with a circle route. There you go. Look at Rice being huge for me, coming up for that ball, even though... He had position. So this guy's hitting me with under smoke the entire time. I'm going to go into bunch weak here. Do corner strike. Take the flat. And he jumped into a different defense right there. So he wanted to cover four drop. So he showed the pressure a couple times, and then, and then he actually went ahead and switched out of the defense. So let's go back to under center, and let's hit him with his own weak. I'm going to snap the ball right away. There you go. Bell's getting some good push for me right there. Let's see if he went back to man coverage or man, that, that uh, blitz. Didn't look like it. Now he goes into to man. So we're going to go ahead and try to state, just keep pounding this guy with the ball. There you go. Short side of the field to hit him with the play action right there. Able to go ahead and pick up a first down, and we're just chewing the clock against this guy because we get the ball in the second half. So a field goal is actually not a bad situation either. We're going to take it down to the two-minute warning. There's no reason to give this guy any time. Wow, look at a block shed with a defensive tackle right there. He cleaned it up with the under smoke. Uh, he burns a timeout. That was a smart play right there, but he's staying with the under smoke. I got to go into a gun formation. Let's go ahead and try to hit him with uh, gun bunch. Let's hit him with tight end bunch here. Ah! Oh, where that defender just came out of nowhere. Come on. Get this guy. Come on. That was definitely not what I wanted to do against him. Uh, he wanted to cover four, and I was actually trying. I, 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 he felt his, his reach just fell back a little bit differently. So I'm going to go back into the big dime, and we're going to show him. Okay. 
Good run. I, I was trying to squish up my line there. Take a seat. Oh, that should have been picked off. He threw right into coverage. No way he caught that. That's definitely fourth and 11. He's going to kick the field goal. Got a huge break. And I'm not going to give this guy any kind of opportunity. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into cover three drop. You got your points. I'm not going to block this. So, I, you know, I feel like I've been out playing this guy, um, but he's had, you know, that that. I feel I feel like I'm a better player than this guy. Definitely a better player. He's he's throwing in the coverage. Um, he got a little batty uh, when I got got him down on the eight yard line. I was able to go and get a pick six against him. So let's go ahead and jump into another formation. We're going to jump into the tight flex here. And we're going to come out of the craw. Actually, you know what? Let's go into bench. Hurry up. High low. And almost got to throw another interception right there. Just tried to do a high pass lead. And he switched up his defenses really quick. So let's go into spot. And it looks like he's hitting me with pressure again. Ah. And I didn't make my reads. Looked like he was doing with pressure again. Fourth, fourth and four against this guy. This guy's he's his defense is giving me trouble right now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give this ball up. I'm not going to give this guy a short field. It's not worth it. <laughs> Come on. you got to be kidding me. Oh, my Lord. Ah. Oh. Oh my God! This guy, this guy's not good. He's not a good player. This is ridiculous. This is the second time in two games I've given up big punt returns or kick returns. Ah, this is ugly. This is definitely an ugly game. This guy's—he's not good. He's not a good player. I—I I don't see anything in this guy that actually says, "Okay, he's—he's he's a really, really good player." It's nothing. I, not, I haven't seen anything spectacular with his offense. He's—he's he's got probably one of the most uh, uh, vanilla type of offenses. And I just—I just spotted this guy freaking ten points. Get out! Get out of there! This is very frustrating right now. So I got to go back to my offense. Get a quick score against this guy. Um, He's using this, this this package that's just driving me routes right now. So let's just go into zone weak. I got rid of the ball too late. Way too late. I am not playing good right now at all. Do Z spot. There you go. So good catch by Brown. A little crossing route right there. 
He is like changing his defense in every particular play. He keeps doing different defenses. So it's very hard to read this guy. He doesn't have any kind of tendencies right now. There you go. Fast play right there. Let's go ahead and jump back into that again. This time we're going to hit him with play action fork and hopefully I can attack him off to the right. And I just couldn't get a blitz. I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get the playoff. He came he came with some kind of a blitz. All right, no hurry up. Don't hurry up right here. I can get three points, so there's no reason to do this. This guy keeps switching up his defenses. He's pressing. He's giving me different looks. And um, he's starting to become a lot better of a player than, than initially I, I felt. Couldn't get rid of the ball. Just couldn't get rid of the ball. It just didn't come out fast enough against me. And I'm letting I'm just letting this game slip away from me. I should have took the points. That was very stupid of me to do that. Went back to the halfback zone and I'm in some serious trouble right now. He's gonna start milking the clock against me. Wow, lucky break right there. Lucky, lucky break. All right, so fourth and one situation. He's going to leave me in scoring territory if he goes for it. And I don't think he got it. Nope, didn't get it. I went with a total engage eight against him. I figured he was going to run. So I still got life. Still got life. And I've been playing, I'm playing really, really bad right now. I'm not playing good at all. So I'm going to go into the shovel option. Inside zone. And snap the ball. And no good blocking right there against this guy's line. So four rushes, basically averaging two yards against him. And he's doing so much man coverage, and he's having success with it. I'm going to go back to the bench switch. There you go. So I got a lucky break right there. Threw right into the defender, but he didn't make a play on the ball. He's jumping back into the cover four. And that cover four is showing, is, is giving me some fits. So he keeps showing me the same look, and then he switches it up. He switches up his, his play. So this guy's he's better than I thought, man, I tell you. Uh, I didn't think he was that good, but he's, uh, he's, he's definitely established himself as a very good player, just with his reads, uh, the way he's confusing me. Um, I don't think I caught that in bounds. I should have did a, 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 yep, totally missed it. I got to focus on the left side of the field. There you go, Jackson. Ah, how did that defensive back came out of nowhere like that? He just came down a bit on that ball. That should have never happened. That should have never happened. So he's just staying in this cover four, and I'm having a hell of a time stop, or, uh, getting it going. So I'm going to jump into Deuce Week here and tack him with, with uh, tight end angle off the left-hand side. I need to get some yards on this, and I think he's just going to keep staying in this cover four. There you go. 
So I hit the seam right there against them. Oh, come on, Rice. You got to catch that, man. <sighs> it's exactly what I was looking for in, in a coverage. You're right op wide open, Rice. There you go. About time. About time. High, high, a high catch right there with Rice to go ahead and get the score uh, back in, in uh, back in range. All right, so two minutes and 30 seconds left. I've got all my timeouts. He's going to milk me. He's tried to establish a run already against me, and he's had a fairly good job running the ball. So I've got to go ahead and figure out how to shut down his run right now. All right, so the ball's at the 26. Gave him fairly good yardage right there. Didn't get all the ball in my kickoff. What am I going to do to stop this guy's run? Maybe I should try making a tackle. That's what I should try doing. I'm going to hit him with a corner, uh, st strong corner fire, too. God damn it! And he just keep hitting me with a draw. There you go. I'm going to take that last time out right now. I got him third in a 10 situation. He'd be silly to go with a draw, and we're going to go ahead and stay. We're going to hit him with the heat. There you go. So you can milk the clock against me, but he'd be stupid to go for it. You don't want to give me a short field. So he's going to pump the ball. Hell of a kick. Look where he got the ball down on the 22-yard line. All right, so three points gets me in overtime, so that's what i got to remember. I'm going to stay in the tight flex because this gives me opportunities to go ahead and hit him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stay with the bench switch as our base play. Oh, come on. You got to hold on to that, buddy. I threw right over the coverage. It was actually a perfect throw, too. There you go. So that was the play I was looking for. It's about time. I need to hurry up. Oh, my Lord. That almost got picked off right there. <sighs> All right, so I'm in scoring territory. Almost got a huge interception against myself. We're going to go into the uh, slot curl. Another drop pass right there. So, and I did catch it for a touchdown. 
with a massive play right there. Oh, my God, this guy's going to be hurting. I literally thought, I'm like, this game is going to overtime. Amazing. He has got to be so heartbroken that I was able to go ahead and pull this game out. I don't know how it happened. This guy, his defense was giving me a hard time. He was actually giving me different looks. He was coming with pressure. <sighs> I'm not going to give this guy an opportunity to return it big against me. Because a field goal doesn't win it, he's got time for one play. Oh, man! He had it! He, he had it. He had the, had the hole and everything. He could have taken it. He just dove. I don't know what he was thinking. That was a bad decision by him, man. My God, I got so lucky um, in that last series right there to go ahead and pull out a victory against Blackhawk 3-1, uh, uh, That He had me on the ropes the entire game to be able to get that last second drive, get a couple stops on defense. To, but he was up on me. I, you know, I, I, don't, I just feel like um, I played down this guy's level. He, was, he wasn't bad but he wasn't good uh, but I had a hard time playing against this guy's defense his defense is making a lot of plays and I think it's because he does probably have higher rated players against me so you know uh, some guys you say team over scheme yeah you're right you know you're gonna win if you if you're a good player you're gonna win with 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 a bad team you don't have to have all the elite players but if the elite players didn't madden matter then all the guys in the madden bowl right now uh, all the guys that, that, that compete in an elite level wouldn't have those elite players. So elite players do make a huge difference. But as you can see, um, I didn't really run the ball at all. Um, that's He basically just take, it took away my running game. I really couldn't effectively run, and I just I, I fell back on the pass. And just sometimes situations, you get away from the running game. And this is a very pass-orientated offense, just the way I designed it. So to my subscribers, I hope you guys picked up a, a good tip from this gameplay. I hope you uh, saw how I ran these schemes. Uh, once again, I really appreciate your support. And until next time.